Oh, look, they're all sunbathing. Let's check these guys out. Hello. Oh, they don't want to be near me. These guys are new, so they're a bit skittish. Oh, my wonky arm. He's the scary one. Look at him. Hello. So these guys are a bit scruffy. They have come in from a sanctuary and they haven't really let us near them. Um, we did do a video, we did a few checks on them, <clears throat> but we had to give up pretty quick because um, this guy is a bit aggressive. Um, so we are kind of breaking them in a bit, get them used to us so we can make sure they're all trimmed up. They've had all their health checks and they're nice and uh, a little bit more friendly, ready for when we've got customers. Because this guy here and Spike, where's Spike over the back, are... Um, a little bit grumpy. Um, hiya. Hi, Christine. Who've we got? Samantha, Jasmine, Kirsty, and Lisa. A um, bit late this morning. Um, we were getting ready uh, to get the kids outside. Um, they slept on the sofa last night, weirdly. I think they just didn't want to kind of go to bed normal. Um, not ready to come and do a video, really. I know they came out yesterday afternoon, but today... Um, I think they're still very upset, so they are on the sofa watching telly. Um, I think it's basically every time they're here, they just think of who's missing. So they are not with me at the second, so we're going to do my animal tour instead. Uh, McGee, looking glorious this morning, aren't you, McGee? Nikita over the back with a little baby in her belly. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Mark. Hi, Lorraine in Western Supermare. Hi, Darcy Lambert. Western Supermare is just a little bit past that big bush over there. Um, so if you stand up on top of your house and wave at us, we might see you. Come then, you can come see me. So we're going to go back to old school. Uh, lamb checks, goat checks. Um, get chased by trailer, get attacked by pool. And obviously see our gorgeous foal. And then today we need to get a name. So we're going to have... Um, it's going to be Jade and Oscar's going to choose because they're the most affected by Teddy. It's Jade and Oscar. Seen as um, mischief was Oscar's horse and he didn't even get to call her Oreo. Um, so the baby is kind of Oscar's baby. And obviously Jade, being who Jade is and where, who she is in the team and her, how she's affected by Ted, she's going to be choosing that name with Oscar. So um, hopefully that's going to happen today. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kathleen. It is actually, it's baking hot. Hot again. I can't believe it. I've never been open in such nice weather. It's not even a joke. I've never, ever been here for this many weeks of sunshine at the start of a season. It would have been very nice. Uh, I love Paul. Yeah, you love Paul because he beats me up. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. Um, so look, they've moved away from me again. Our new right. So these are called Longhorn. So I was saying Longhorn Manx. No, Manx Longhorn. It's actually Manx Loutons. Um, L-O-A-G-H-T-A-N-S Something else I can't say, basically Hi Rob, how are you doing? Thank you so much for your messages um, and, and so many people have messaged And I haven't had a chance to get back to everyone I think I tried to switch off last night We had a little barbecue, a little football match A little basketball match um, Just to kind of forget about things uh, And then, yeah, the kids were just being wild so the little two um, had a sleepover in the lounge last night. Yes, we did get some suntan lotion for the pigs, thank you. Um, I think we've had two batches left on the um, gate. One was a, a baby like sun cream, which is really good because it's extra strength. And one was a bag um, with some sun creams in. But I've never found out if there was a note in there, so I'm going to find out. And if someone's owed a shout out, I'll give them a shout out. Um, not at the post today, so I don't know if we've got any lovely presents. Um, we had yesterday, we had the lovely little lamb coats from Jasmine, Layla and Bear um, that Oscar and Jess really enjoyed trying to put on the lambs. Um, so that was really cute. So uh, post tends to come here in the afternoon, which is annoying actually when you need to get work done, you're waiting on things. I think we get our post at about two-ish. Um, so we'll have a look. Let's have a look at our boy this morning. I think I might be convincing Jade with the old captain idea. 
because she did comment she's oh if you guys have tiktok or your kids have tiktok please send them to our tiktok page um last night jade and amy made some tiktoks for this little guy one was the flip the switch i don't know if you've seen it so basically you've got an image so sometimes it's a couple and you flick the switch and they switch clothes sometimes it's a pregnant lady and they flick the switch and the baby's out so without giving you any clues there's one of mischief and then there's one of mischief and the little baby yeah they're in the house and they didn't want to come out um hi andrea started to get ready this morning and i think they're just a bit too tough still so they're going to watch tv and be annoying so yes yeah, so i managed to get jade to um start going soft on the idea of captain but we're gonna let oscar and jade choose i'm hoping they can do that today um because i think that's something that they need both of them to keep them happy after a tough week i really like some new arrivals as well we could do with some lambs couldn't we just to cheer us up hey gorgeous let's get my camera down here i'm gonna give him a little touch look at him he's so soft what have you got in your hair you need a bath is mummy not licking you and cleaning you up Oh, you are gorgeous. He's got little lashes on him as well. He bit my knee the first day. Um, the first day he was born. Bit me on the knee a little bit. Gorgeous boy. Oh, so soft, especially compared to lamb. Sorry if I'm not filming very good because I'm really concentrating on my cuddles here. And he's used to being handled, which is great. Obviously, we have to keep mum happy. But this guy's going to be used to human touch, unlike mum. Um because we can't stop cuddling him, can we? And she's just about getting used to it. She's letting us. Look, she's not being aggressive today. She's not kind of knocking him out of the way. He's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, um, Jade's asked us to watch Spirit. Um, it's a horse film, but we haven't actually seen, so I think the kids are gonna watch that this afternoon to uh, see if we come round to her name as well. I've got to stay out of it. I can't, I just get involved with these naming arguments. Gorgeous little boy. <sighs> Mummy's chilled. No, we haven't got that yet. So um, Oscar and Jade are going to choose. I'm hoping they're going to do it. Oh, he's actually nuzzling my knee. Look. Don't bite me, they. Hey, gorgeous. Don't bite me. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> What's on my knee? It's so interesting. Is it because it's hairy like your mum? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. There you go. Ow, oh, okay, yep, yeah, that, that was nice. They just bit me. <laughs> it's not dinner, you donut. Oh, my phone's gone the wrong way around. He just bit my knee fat. Aren't you gorgeous? This is what we need to stay happy, isn't it? Look at this gorgeous boy. He's brought a lot of happiness to us all. I haven't got any food for you. <laughs> it's got little gnashes in the head, you know. Oh, he's gorgeous. How many times am I going to say he's gorgeous? He is gorgeous. He's shaving me, yeah. Ow! Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that's a good um, little bite you've got there. <laughs> Let's get me again. Get off. <laughs> Naughty boy. Stop licking me, you weirdo. <laughs> I love how chilled. Look how chilled mum is, though. This is crazy. If you think how anyone's kind of been following our videos, mum's so uptight and she won't really let us near her too much. The fact that she's let me play with her baby like this just shows that all of her kind of aggression really was pregnancy related and now she's had him. She's just so chilled, which is, is lovely because that actually means we've got an easier future with her um, and we can keep giving her a really good level of care because we can get up close to her because it's really hard. As many of you might know, if you've got animals that are hard to... Whoop, where, what happened there? Did mummy jump on you? Um, if an animal won't actually let you look after it, it's a very hard job to try and look after it. Um, you can't sedate things very often. I know we had to sedate um, Brutus. I'm scared you're going to hurt me again, right though. Look, he's probably having a go. Um, to do his teeth, the um, alpaca. 
Five of us coming to the dino event in August. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Kelly. Have you booked your tickets? Um, just giving myself a little plug there. If you are looking for somewhere amazing to go in August, I've heard about this farm. A um, few crazy people work there, but apart from that, there's an amazing amount of gorgeous animals that you can play with if you go there. And we've got a dinosaur event on in August. Can you remind me of the dates, Kelly? Is it the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th? I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and we've got discounted tickets on at £10 each, um, which is a pretty good bargain, really. You get the whole day out here and you get to see the dinosaurs. Um, we're doing all right. The kids didn't want to be in the video. Well, they didn't want to come out. Um, oh, brilliant, Kelly. Um, they didn't want to come outside today um, and see the animals at all because they're still... It's just they're still emotional. They had a really late night last night, so I went to bed and I kind of left them downstairs with a nightlight on. Um, duvets on the sofa. 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I did Friday to Monday, so it's the same as like the Easter weekend, so that the people with the Easter weekend tickets can just use theirs on the same day for the new event. I just thought it'd be it's just less work for me. If it's less work for me, I'm doing it. Um... Where is this amazing farm? Well, Shane, now that you ask, we are an amazing farm. Um, we are down the M5, if you're coming from Bristol down Devon Way. Uh, if you're coming down the M5 and you see that gorgeous big hill there, that's called Brent Knoll, you come off at that motorway junction and you will find us just down the road. We are nestled between Western Supermare, famous for the pier, the beach, and Banksy did his little uh, artwork event over there and Burnham-on-Sea, which is famous for... Quick, tell me something Burnham-on-Sea is famous for. The smallest pier in the country, I believe, and didn't Lena Healy, who plays Cersei Lannister, once live in Burnham for, like, a couple of months or something? That's what I heard was a claim to fame. Um, so, yes, do come and visit us. We're near Breen as well, and Breen's a big kind of holiday park destination down there. We've got Pontins, Haven... There's Unity Farm, Warren Farm, Diamond Farm. There's another one, Northern Farm. There's all farms that have been turned into caravan parks. So do pop down and see us. Um, that would be amazing. Thank you, Shane, for allowing me to uh, shamelessly plug my uh, establishment, art, eh? Um, hi, Chantel. Hi, Kerry. Baby number two at the end of August. Oh, yeah. She can waddle around here. I used to. I wanted to get myself a quad bike. Imagine we did um, an event here before down the bottom and I was really heavily pregnant. Um, and I remember I went into like Braxton Hicks that night and thought Jess was coming about three weeks, four weeks early. And oh, I was in agony all night because I've been on my feet so much all day. But luckily she held on another couple of weeks. But that was not fun at all. Um, so yes, I used to waddle around here every day. Um, Jade's doing okay. Um, I'm hoping she might pop in and just see us for a bit today just so we know she's alive, really. Uh, we've been chatting to her. She's been busy making TikToks. Um, if you pop onto TikTok, she's been putting some videos together of this gorgeous boy and mummy. Um, so, yeah, she's concentrating all her energy onto all the lovely other animals here. So hopefully we'll see her soon. Um, what's happened? Um, we lost Teddy. Um, our abandoned lamb that we were hand rearing. Well, Jay was doing most of it. We did a little bit of it, me and the kids. Oh yeah, I can go back to the new sheep. The Loughton Manx, or Manx Loughtons. Um, so yeah, Teddy passed the night before last. Um, he'd done so well. He was, I can't remember if he was five and a bit weeks or six and a bit weeks. Um, you need a hair wash, you do. Look at this crusty head. You're like Jess, she always gets stuff in her hair. Um, it just got too much for him, so we um, had to take him to the vet. Um, and it's been a massive um, crushing kind of incident for all the team, really, because he was our inspiration and he was you know, he was with us before the lockdown. And he's the kind of thing that's been keeping us all going um, throughout all the stresses. Oh, I'm all covered in pony dribble, but I'm not going to complain because you are gorgeous. Look at that little mouth. I know, it's, um, yeah, we're struggling. So my um, little children came out for a little video yesterday, um, but they didn't fancy it today because they're just, they're just struggling. It's just a grieving process. Um, I find it easier to crack on when I'm upset about things. 
Um, when I've lost family members, I've just kind of come to work and just tried to crack on really because it's... Oh, I'm going to get bitten, I think. Distraction. Works well for me. Ah, oh, I'm going to get bitten on the knuckles. Right, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Should we go see the gates? We're going to go in a circle. We haven't got a name, Carmen. I'm so sorry. Um... He is, he's well overdue a name, um, just with the whole Teddy incident we got a bit distracted, um, but we are going to have um, a management meeting between my son Oscar, who is eight, um, because Mischief was his pony, and Jessica's pony is um, Coco, so between him and Jade will be the final, um, the final choice for a name, and I'm staying out of it. Um, I'll let them decide. So they're going to have their private management meeting two metres apart and they're going to have their list of names that you guys have been suggesting as well. Um, the ones I feel are on the short list. I know Andrew will be happy. Spirit's on there. Captain's on there. Fudge is on there. Costa is on there. Um, so I know that was a couple of their names that they liked. Um, I did see Jay refer to him as Captain Tom yesterday. That's what I wanted. Um... But I'm going to leave them to it because I can't get out. It's not my place. I know it is my place, but at the same time, I'd rather those lot. I'm not too far. I got to name my kids, I think. Did I name them all? I definitely named Jessica. Um, I've had enough babies to name of my own, so uh, I will let those guys name the animals. And also, it um, if they if Oscar names them, it's like, well, Oscar, you named it. You've got to look after it, haven't you? Oh, We've got a mummy. Wait there. We've got a llama down. Have we got um, a llama? How have we missed this? Llama in labour? Possibly. Ooh. Um, no new additions yet, but I have not seen her down like that. And um, we are due a llama over here, so let's go and have a look. Um, Tosca, a bit like... Oh yeah, that's quite cute. I'll tell you a funny story about Oscar's name in a minute, actually. Um, but I'll pop over here. Ooh, are we resting or are we in labour? see what she does when I get nearby. She looks like she's having some issues there. What's going on? I'm going to try and be really calm. Because Becky's a bit moody anyway. She's on that spat of Braden. If I can sneak past. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I saw a baby leg then. One of the llamas is, well, two of the llamas are due. There's two here and one on the other side. And I always forget if it's Becky or Keisha, but I thought it was Becky because she's the moody one. And just like with um, Mischief behind me, the moody one's normally the experience of um, moodiness and pregnancy. They do tend to lie down. Breathing heavily, but I can't see contractions. Let me blow. There's Becky. There's Keisha. There's Fabio at the back. I'm gonna rest it on the fence there. I can't see contractions at the second. I can see heavy breathing. 
just sit here for a minute and see what's going on. But I've never seen her down like that, even when she's sleeping. They don't tend to be spread out quite like that. <laughs> Shame was like, ah, what's going on? Oh, imagine that would be a nice view, wouldn't it, as well, if I could keep this phone on the uh, fence and film a birth from this angle, because did anyone see my terrible filming of the triplets? It's like I was sitting on a roller coaster. Mm. Yeah, very heavy breathing there. Um, I don't know what the actual scientific differences is, but I know that um, llamas are a lot bigger, um, longer necks. They're more horse-like, really, um, and alpacas are a bit more kind of long-headed sheep. <laughs> Animal expert. Move over, David Attenborough. Yes, so they do tend to be down for the birth. Just, yeah, David Attenborough-style birth. Well, here we are, um, with a back-end view of this gorgeous llama, who goes under the name of Becky. Um, st stories tell me, or um, legend says, that the name Becky and Keisha comes from the olden day singer and rapper under the name of Drake. Um, therefore, we have a Becky, and we have a Keisha. I uh, really need to answer the age-old question of, do you love me? Are you riding? Uh, Fabio apparently did get some love. Um, and that's why we may have a tiny little bambino of a llama ejecting from Mother Becky today. Um, so stay tuned and you're Oh, oh, your balmy camera lady may just catch the exit strategy of a baby llama. Baby Llama, you have been evicted from the Llama Mama house. Please say your goodbyes and leave from the bottom exit immediately. Please do not swear. Davina is waiting for you on the other side of the fence. I love Big Brother. I started watching Dead Set with Brayden. It's a zombie film in the Big Brother house and it's actually got Davina in it and it's got some ex-celebrity, not celebrity, just a non Z list Big Brother housemates in it. I really recommend it. It's on Netflix. Dead set. And it's the actual Big Brother studio and house. And um, there's a load of old contestants in it, like um, Bubble and Brian Bello, who was amazing. Yeah, Dead Set was amazing. Uh, Brian Bello, I loved Brian Bello. I would have married Brian Bello. I know he's an absolute... I just, could you imagine every day with Brian Bello? It would just be like... <laughs> Joey. He was like the original um, Joey Essex, wasn't he? Day 10 in the Big Brother house. Oh, yeah, because you're a Geordie. Um, and that really pretty one from Wales. Was she called Imogen? I think she's been out with Ryan Giggs or something. I'm a llama, get me out of here. Yes, we've got um, two of the animal care team in today. Um, I haven't seen them yet. I haven't crossed paths with them. Oh, oh, oh. Keisha's come to have a lazy. She could just be chilling. We're talking about big brother, yeah. Obviously, it just makes sense exactly to what we were doing here. We're at a farm in the middle of Somerset and somehow we're talking about Big Brother and zombies. He 
You wouldn't get this if you watched Longleat Live, would you? <laughs> They'd be professional. Oh, I always wanted to go see it. I wanted to be in it. Obviously, because I'm absolutely nuts, aren't I? Um, it started when I was a teenager. Yeah, Jay, come on. Shake yourself off. Wash yourself down. Come into work. We're still here. We miss you. We're having a babysit, I reckon. I'm not seeing much go on down the uh, the bottom end. I did see one of our um, team members of a halves comment a minute ago. So without revealing anyone, could you pop a message over so they could uh, send me uh, or they could ring and one of the team to come up? Yeah, but everyone's just depressed when Jade's not here. Debated it a few times. I think I'd have been good on that. I think I would have ruined my life. I would have embarrassed myself so much. I could never have had a, a normal job. Um, but it would have been fun. <clears throat> yeah, she looks like she's um, uncomfortable, doesn't she? I'm just going to stay here for a minute and see what goes on. Let's see what else is going on here for a minute while she's there. Keisha. Fabio behaves, chilling over the back. Are you having a baby? Well, I wasn't giving any names away, but if you're going to, like, go, go out there and out yourself, yeah, could you send communication to him, and then he can send communication to... I, can't, I don't even know who's in today. Um, and then they can just send me someone just to check that Mummy is... Um, well, I say she's either down because she's in labour or she's down she's unwell. Um, so she's down for a reason. If she's in labour, we can leave her alone and just film it. But if she needs... Um, some more water, um, a bit of food. Um, she stayed out in the sun too long. I think we're having a baby. baby. I can't see, I can see her breathing, but not like a uh, like that proper squeeze of a contraction. But the positioning she's in is the birthing position. Um, some sheep do give birth like this. Um, I've seen, um, we've got a video actually that went on our page um, of a birth that mum was in this position. I think that was a single birth where the baby was bigger. So they tend to lie down um, and birth. Um, we've also had, uh, but when we had the trip, oh sorry my finger's over, thank you. Um, um, but when we had the triplets, she did all of those standing up. I think that's because they're smaller. Um, no, nothing's happened. I just think we might have a baby on the way here. Um, oh, I could be on camera if it's far away. Like, I can deal with that. It's the, it's the selfie uh, phone holding situation I can't deal with because it's just so close. Like, who, who wants to be that close? I can deal with that's what I was in the video the other day when I was far away and Braden was filming. I can deal with, like, my whole silhouette like the whole self it's just that close face i don't do selfies it's just oh 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 oh, 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 oh what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing oh was we just sunbathing then what was that oh she changed her mind now the trippers just fell out didn't they really but they were diddy I think there's a false alarm now. Do you think we just had a sunbathe then? It's too good to be true, wasn't it? Her positioning, showing me exactly where the baby was going to come from. I love the way she's just got her back to me, like, I'm not going to look at you. None of your business what I'm doing. Becky. Becky. Yeah, I don't think she is. Should we go for a walk and come back? I got excited then. I did get excited. Right, let's get back up. We will catch in, we'll check in with her before the end of this video. But, oh, animal team on their way. They're coming down from a helicopter. Shoot out like uh, G.I. Joes. So Becky's the one that spat at Braden. Um, you can find that on YouTube now, 
Um, so Braden came up, all cocky like all teenagers are, and um, was actually feeding Fabio. We thought Fabio did it, and Becky walks straight up, and spits in his face, it like goes in his eye and everything, and I absolutely lose it. Like I absolutely wet myself beyond, like I couldn't, I couldn't get myself together at all. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, pick your little baby out. Yeah, I reckon so. If she turns around to me, I'm gone. I'm not getting spat at. I've never been spat at, ever. And I've... Oh, oh. Actually, what are we doing? Well, that was a bit of a funny position then. She's opening up her um, back area a bit there. I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Hi, Amber. She's shaking her tushy at me. She's trying to show up, isn't she? Something's going on down there, isn't it? Why is that on show? Becky set up her only fans. <clears throat> That's a weird positioning as well. Her legs don't look comfy, do they? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I think she's having a baby. She stuck her tail in her bum. She just seems uncomfortable and unsettled. Oh yeah, I never take the monkey talkies with me. Uh, ever. Because it doesn't stop me. Crystal, can you do this? Crystal, can you do this? No, can't do nothing. Leave me alone. Okay, see Reggie. Reggie's come to have a look. Let's just chill. Let's leave her for a second. What you brought me, Reg? Is this for me? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that, Reggie. Is this a gift? You're scary, aren't you? Yeah, anyone that knows Jay, get her in. She want to see this. Hi, Leanne. Reggie's brought me a gift. Look. That's so cute, Reg. All the animals love me now. It would, actually. The kids would be over the moon. Thank you, Reggie. I really appreciate it. I don't get many presents. I didn't get any Easter eggs. I didn't think I got a birthday present last year. I buy myself Christmas presents. Normally like a hoover or a toaster or something. Reggie's just like, what? I want to have a baby. Not me personally though, just animals. Put that out there. Oh yeah, I can hear them coming. There's definitely something going on down here, isn't there? She seems to be, um, sorry if you're eating your dinner. Seems to be opening up a bit. But I'm not seeing her body kind of contracting. She's breathing, but not the same as like we've seen the sheep. I've never seen a llama birth. Um, they've always seemed to have birthed during the night. Come on, do that for us. <laughs> you got your full gear on, look at this. Matching hat and wellies. I think we're having a baby. She's on her side, leg up a bit, proper spread out head down. And then she's, look, she's opening up her back end here like this. And she's in a weird position. He's gonna laugh at me. <laughs> Have you ever seen her like that before? No. Oh, oh. Give her a bit of food and drink just to make sure she's all right. I'm gonna get a spat out. 
No. Did she get you? Angry, whatever. No, not for you. Hey. We want a baby, we want a baby. Hey, Fabio. Isn't Fabio gorgeous? Oh, look at her goblin on that. Hey. She's getting ready to spit. Let them attack them. I just find Fabio so like sleek and majestic. Let the girls get spat, not me. Can you keep an extra eye on her today? Yeah. She's definitely in that same kind of birthing position that I've seen the ewes in. Head down, the way her legs are spread. We'll keep she, like you said, she could have just been hot, felt a bit poorly. Look at him, he's so big. It's like the biggest, most powerful animal we've got. He's our tiger. Yeah, that's my present from Reg, excuse me. Reg, give that to me. The girls are getting Larry over there. I don't know if Fabio behaves himself, but the girls just spit at us. I think they think we're trying to steal their man. I haven't seen these two interact before. Who's behind me? Oh look, everyone's come to see. This is what makes me think something's going on. When all the other animals are like paying attention, it's because they know. I always think that's more likely to be a birth or something happening when the other animals are being really nosy. So if you remember when we filmed the triplets being born, all the animals came over, didn't they? They came over to say hello, almost like they're saying, Hi Einstein, how are you doing? Congratulations on the birth. They know, don't they? Him. He's a big boy and he look. Pardon? Nana's pregnant. Whoa! Nana's pregnant. Normally that's really shocking information when you find out your Nana's pregnant, but so she must have come here pregnant. Yeah, she did. She's about three months. And how long do they take? About five months. Oh, so she's just about three months pregnant and they take about five months. So Hopefully we'll be open by then. Oh, we've never had baby goats here either. You wouldn't believe this. We've had like thousands of lambs. What? You all right? Thousands of lambs. Uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, water dragons, mice, rats. We've had a lot, but we've never had goats or a foal born here before. We tend not to breed too much. We kind of tend to, because we're not a farm farm, as in a meat farm, we don't do that same kind of breeding that a lot of places you might go to do, where they breed the animals to... Um... Yeah. Layla, your nan's pregnant. <laughs> I love this one. It's my favourite. Whether it's red... This one is my favourite. I want to cuddle her. Kiara. Andrea chose these names, didn't she? But I made sure this one was the K, because I'm a K. And she's my favourite. Hey, hey, Red. Do you want to cuddle? Are you friendly? Oh, it's the first time I've touched you. Do you reckon she was a bit under weather, or do you think she might have been... She was... Watch the video back in a minute. She was definitely in some, like... Positions. Well, sometimes she lies like that when her and Fabio want to cuddle. A cuddle? Oh, so she might have just been okay. So she may be um, just wanting some Fabio action. Um, yeah, this one's pregnant. Yay! We love it when everyone's pregnant that aren't wearing uniform. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I like Kiara. Kiara the best. Yeah, alpacas are pregnant for ages. It's weird because you think it's like size. The bigger they are, the longer they're pregnant for. But it doesn't always work out like that. 
Ooh, 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 whoa. Okay. We're still getting them used to being caught and handled. Well, I just said they came a lot closer to me than they were, um, yeah. and now they let me touch her. And I found that Reggie's never been that close to me. He's, I think he's bought me a little present. There's a little, like, ball of fluff he's bought me. Oh, and grass. <laughs> so in the exciting farm news today, what's been going on? Uh, George had a good clean out. Oh, yeah. And we put some apples in this big water, so we went apple bobbing. Oh, I've got some videos. Apple bobbing. How's your TikTok doing, you little famous lady? I know, it's not loads of these. What, 1,200, 1,400? I can't remember now. Yeah. It was going, wasn't it? We thought it was going to get viral, but it just stopped. Literally within five minutes, it was like a few hundred. Yeah, like... it went all the way. Every time I refreshed it, it went up like 50 or 100 views. And it just stopped at like one, two, three, four. It just didn't go anymore. And I was like, no. Basically on TikTok, you might not know it, I'm a bit new to it, is you put a video on and you just need one video. Basically it gets picked up and shown to people and it goes viral and then you get like, basically then you, what? <laughs> just having a rest. And once your video goes viral, then, then your page takes off and basically you get lots of followers and then all your videos take off really. But you have to get that one video that people want. And then I think you can do live videos and stuff and then they can, like, people can send you presents. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, someone... Some people doing live videos. I don't know what you need a thousand followers and we've got like 260. So if you've got... Nearly there. Nearly there. Uh, if you've got teenagers at home... Just get them to go look at our TikToks and they can show you TikToks as well. Or just download the app. Um, I think you just link it to Facebook and um, you can just watch without... But it's quite funny, TikTok, because they do these silly songs and little dance routines. And loads of celebrities on there. I saw Gordon Ramsay does them. Jessica Alba does them. Um, Wayne Bridge and F Frankie Bridge have been doing them as well. Yeah, I'm going to do one with the animals later. Yeah, I think that would be so cool. I might... If we start... If we get... I'll tell you this now. If we get... Should I say 500? Because yeah. that's not far off what we are. If we get 500 TikTok followers, I will be in a TikTok uh, with my yeah. real face. Yeah, dancing. I'll do one of these um, dancing crazes with the guys. Not on my own. Uh, you can do these ones that are like... Do, 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 And you do all the like, leg moves. Yeah, savage, bougie. What's the other word? Carol <laughs> She killed her husband. She whacked him. Stella loves TikTok. I bet you're doing all the dances on there. Our professional dancer. I remember you trying to teach me some dance moves five years ago. Some new thing. Um, Animal Farm Zoo. All one word. Animal Farm Zoo. So yeah, if we get 500 followers on there, I will be in a TikTok. I can fancy dress. I can whatever, but I'll make sure my face is out so I'm not chicken out and being a cheat i'll make sure that um i am properly in it i can type it actually me... <sighs> what well, my real face well i mean like i won't put on a filter or a mask i'm wearing makeup oh my god no way would you think i am it's not horror if it was halloween i'd wear no makeup animal farm <laughs> have they oh i just put my finger over the screen again what is wrong with me yeah i bet they are I'm a good little mover. You've seen me out, haven't you, Stella? You've seen me on the dance floor in Loft? I'm so good following his mum. He bit me on the knee earlier. Did he? Yeah, he was proper chewing. He was licking all my knee. I left him to it and he was like crunch and I was like, ow. <laughs> little gnashes he's got. But it's good that mum, what's that? So, um, Miss Chief's tail was chewing. Oh. It's coming off. Nice. Like. She's let, me and Amy are going to have to intervene with one off by later. Yeah, well, um, we're going to have to catch her. Though, we? Well, she's so much more chill. She let me cuddle the little one. And, straight, and she was just in the background. She didn't even come and kind of tell me to get away. Yeah, share TikTok. Basically, tag your friends in our videos, your TikTok friends, and then they'll come and watch the video and that will pump it up. You can see the two that... Um, watch Amy's one. You did the flip the switch, didn't you? And then Jay did the, hey, yo, hey, yo. Uh, Jay did the other one. But yeah, it's really good as well because it's the guys, the team themselves that are doing it because if I were you, I'd get a bit fed up with me and everything that I do because I, I don't shut up, do I really? It's not the Crystal Show. It's a lot of other people here. Um, 
I don't really make the TikToks because I haven't got any talent or skill, as we've previously discussed. I've got a fly on the inside of my glasses. Um, so it's actually, you're getting kind of what the team are saying and what the team like about the animals and what they... Oh, what's that coming out of your mouth? Oh, that's disgusting. That's like some dribble. Do you see that? That's rank. Um, so yeah, basically you're getting like straight to the team and that's what I think is really nice. So um, obviously I do all the Facebook stuff. Um, the Instagram and the TikTok, so they've got the logins and they do their own stuff. What was that? Oh, never. Um, I think it's really important that when you've got a place like this, that you've got it's a team effort and having um, the freedom to kind of put what they want on. Um, they don't have to pass it by me. Uh, I don't have anything to say about it really. I'll probably have a moan if it was bad and had me in it. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, you can't really see that. Oh, put send, her. put it on Instagram. My son's giving it, he's got 34,000. Can I count? Yeah, followers on TikTok. Oh my goodness, Kerry. Yes, please. You can do a duet with us. Apparently someone said if you duet with, you go to one of our videos and do a duet and it gets people to like us. That's an amazing, I'll have to follow him as well. See what he's been doing. Um, but yeah, I think it's really nice that the team have got the freedom to put their own videos on or their own information on. So I know Morgan's been doing our Instagrams and he's the one that's been putting those really like intellectual posts on. You could tell it wasn't me, couldn't you? Uh, so he'll be putting on our daily scientific inter intellectual kind of um, correct information about animal posts on. We didn't do one yesterday. Um, I think we've all a little bit distraught, but um, that's what Morgan's been doing. Katie does a lot of the stories. Amy does a lot of the fun, kind of funky, cool stuff, like young person stuff, like the TikToks with the good uh, music in the background, as does Jade. Um, so it's nice that the team get to input their own stuff and they just put it on whenever they want. It doesn't have to kind of go through me. You know, like a lot of places have got like a, a chain of authority where, you know, no one's allowed to talk on behalf of, you know, big dog company one or two. Um... There's no approval process. They just go for it. Um, and that's the trust I've got in those guys. And obviously, I know that they're going to do something good. I was on his fortnight. <laughs> Oscar likes Fortnite. Brayden hates it. Uh, but they do like Minecraft together. Um, so, yeah, we've, they've got the kind of freedom of speech to put their own favourite animal on or funny video on. Uh, I think, to be honest, if anyone's going to put anything inappropriate on there, it's going to be me anyway. So, uh, if anything gets to wouldn't it be? <laughs> Amy's like, yeah, yeah. They're a lot more sensible than I am, so they're a lot more likely to put something good on. Um, if anyone's going to put something a bit risque on or, like, um, a bit saucy or something, it's going to be me, not them. <laughs> get in trouble. Can they get close enough to get my drink without getting spat at? Right, well, we've got nothing else going on over here. So, um... I should probably write what that is because it just says Animal Farm Zoo rather than what it's for. And we're going to go see the goats quickly. I'll do a quick round and if someone wants to see the Manx Longhorns, um, let's try and position that on that. Right, tick tock. Tick. I don't need to probably say it out loud, do I, as I'm writing it? I'm like an old lady. I've just messaged someone on Twitter actually. She's got the username Animal Farm Zoo. And she's done like one tweet three years ago. And I was like, can we have the name? Um, she hasn't replied to me. I think we're like Animal Farm UK on Twitter. What random, random name. Not that anyone ever tweets with us. 272 now, best get ready. Oh yeah. To be honest, I need the exercise of practicing one of these videos. Brayden said, I've got to do 10,000 steps to lose weight. And I'm doing like, no, I'm not doing that yet. And get close. I did it on the day he lost his phone. <clears throat> do you remember Easter Sunday and he was around here looking for his phone for like six hours? I did like 20,000 steps. I played football and basketball with the kids last night. That should help. But I didn't have my phone on me, so I didn't count my steps. There you go, like our new one, Animal Farm Zoo, there you go. Um, yeah, she had her head like this on the side, and she got hit her head. <laughs> Gorgeous boy. So yeah, we've got to get that name. Um, we've got to drag Jade in. 
Yeah, get her out of bed. Cheer her up. It's not his day, though, is she? We need to get her back. Did she come in, did she? No, I know that. Yeah. I think she was sleeping yesterday. We need to get her back on the horse, as they say. She's coming in tomorrow, she said. Yeah. Well, my kids didn't want to come out this morning either. I'm hoping Brayden will talk the other two into doing a late night one tonight because they are funny. Like a bit dangerous because they talk absolute like crazy stuff um, with no adult to check what they're saying. Uh, Jess said there was a secret sister that was hidden somewhere, which sounded really uh, scary. But there isn't. Um, there's another load of random things that were said. No, not Boris! Claire's naughty. If we were to name animals after black politicians, uh, I haven't got, um, I haven't got much preferences. Um, but I think we'd have to go for some funny animals like rats and things for politicians. I think I'd do, do you know what I would have done? If we'd had some rats born a few months ago when the election was on, I would have called one Jeremy and one Boris. I would have called them both rats. <laughs> Apparently there's a new one for Labour now, but I don't even, I don't follow it. He's a sir. Not that that means anything. Amy, could you have got that close to them before, though? No, I Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just her whole temperament has changed. It's amazing. Any other women out there that have had babies that can completely, like, understand this the same way? When you're pregnant, you just hate everyone. And then you've had your baby. You're like, yeah, play the baby. I don't care. I'm chilled now. The worst is over. Thank you, Sharon. Oh, I'm scared now. Are we going to get 500 followers today? I'll have to have a shower. <laughs> How often are you showering, Katie? Every day. Every day? It's hot. You it? posh girl, you. I didn't shower yesterday, though, but why not? Guinea pig Boris. Yeah, 500 TikTok followers, and I will do um, one of these dance craze videos with these guys. I must be heavily pregnant. I did think so, Shane, to be honest. Um, I got that vibe from you. You know, like, I've, as an animal carer, I get that vibe when um, someone's pregnant. And I kind of got that from you, Shane. Oh, me wobbling the camera. Look at this photo shoot all the time. Are you doing any animal care or are you just taking photos? <laughs> it's but Yeah, all right. The hard workers here, aren't they? Not. What's Becky doing? Pop behind me and see Becky. Let's zoom back out because it's extra wobbly when it's zoomed in. So basically, nothing's going on. Oh my goodness me, craving to don't. Do you know what I tried to cheer Oscar up with? Pictures of restaurant food. So we looked at some pictures of TJ Fridays as one of our favourites. And um, he just started crying more. He's like, no, this is worse. <laughs> We're so hungry. I haven't. Oh my goodness me. Hello. We haven't had any takeaways since lockdown. So for a month, um, no takeaways, no drive-throughs, no one of these pickups or anything. It's just mum's terrible, terrible, terrible cooking. Um, like I am pretty terrible. Like even on the barbecue, I burnt the first batch of sausages. Luckily, we've got German Shepherd to feed them to. But um, honestly, I feel sorry for my kids because I've just not got those skills because i'm so easy distracted i'd rather be dancing so we had the, the speaker outdoors i'm dancing with the kids i'm having a right little ball I'm having a little strawberry daiquiri on the go and i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna be cooking food here i turn around it's just like <laughs> oops never mind um um so yeah i am not um but yeah we are craving takeaway food like crazy um I think the last time we went to a restaurant was like the 12th of, um, what are we now? Might be 12th of March. That's because we had to drive somewhere um, and it was quite far away, so we had to stop for food. Um, oh, don't I just think about food? 
dude is live. I'm gonna get so fat after this. Like fatter. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, what's its name? Uh, excuse me. Wait there. Captain. Captain. Two seven. Oh no. Got two seven four followers now on TikTok. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start working out. Let's try and do some. I'm gonna exercise. Here we are. Quick. Lose, lose some weight before. Yeah. I could do that or I could not. Do you know what I can't work out? How my laundry basket is always full. Like. We're not going anywhere. We're not getting that dressed up. Surely the kids can reuse their clothes. And I'm just putting a load... Of, and I've got a massive... I've got, like, an industrial size washing machine anyway. Um, I have not stopped washing. Kebab Kitchen in Burnham are delivering. Will they deliver this far out? No, I'm too scared. Honestly, I'm proper, like, crackpot, tin foil hat wearing. Like, I'm proper locking myself up from um, this. I stopped going out before they even said stop going out. I'm not having it. Not making me poorly. Not having it. How can I run this? This is my... Do you remember my first video? Is when I kept crying. Absolute idiot. Because I was like, if I get the virus and I'm indoors and I'm sick, the children have got to look after each other. And then if the animal carers can't get in because they're all sick, then the children are going to have to look after the animals and themselves and then I just kept crying because I just found it just too much to think of the children having to do all of that on their own. Um, I was a bit of a wreck. So the videos at the start of this lockdown were a bit emotional, weren't they? 36 hour live from 1pm to 1am on Sunday. Oh, on Wave. Do they have like a Facebook or that? Does he want to have a chat with us on it? GDK, German Donna Kebab. Mm. Don't. It's not fair, is it? Free labour. Who's free labour? Oh, the children. Oh, yeah, I know. The other day, Oscar's like, can I have this? Because I've earned... It. Oh, my goodness me, have you seen those cows? <gasps> oh, I'm going. I said, didn't I, next door's going to have their big cows over soon? Yes! I feel like part of the family, another set of big cows. Um, no, I got them a football the other day. Oscar's got a little Marvel fo Avengers football and Jay, um, Jess got a Minions one. Um, Brayden's getting my old phone in a minute once I've checked that I've got all my um, information off it that I need I want to go see these cows these um, these are like dinosaur cows I'm such an animal expert these are so big sometimes they're right right next to us and I'm like these are just so big they're like dinosaur cows they are huge I'll try and get a bit closer next door if you're watching don't shoot me I'm not a poacher. I just want to film your giant cows. I love it when these guys are right up at the fence and you come here and they're like, so, oh, geese. Don't poop on me. Right, let's try and zoom in on these guys. These guys are gorgeous. Can you see? So that, what a lovely shot that is. I should be a photographer, but I, I'm rubbish. That's Brent Knoll, so if you've ever been up and down the M5, that's Brent Knoll. You'd see that. Um, when Braden was in reception, actually, he used to go and walk to the top of that, the little village school. They did a school trip to walk to the top. Um, they never did that for Oscar and Jess. Mrs. Fotheringham, I think it was her thing to do, and I think she left halfway through Oscar's year. Look at those beefy boys, look at them. I feel like I'm videoing like a rugby team working out. Look at them. It's a bit shaky, isn't it? They are. Oh, spider on my arm. Hello. Oh, is that money spider? I won't, I won't flick it off too, are they? Because I could do with some of your help. Oh, where are they going? Where are they going? Here they are. Look at those. Hopefully they'll make their way over. Now they've rotated the fields. They'll come closer soon. I'll get right up close to them because they are gorgeous. I get a bit excited and I, oh, they're like dinosaur cows. I'm sure they've got a technical term, but we haven't got cows, so I don't know much about them. Right, I'm going to have a quick whip round. I want to see our lambs, seeing as we've done a, a very long video today. Uh, Becky is back on her feet. Uh, we're going to keep it on her all day. Maybe we can come back for four o'clock for a live birth. 
would be amazing but make me super happy um, and it would drag Jade in because she needs to get back on the horse quite literally and come in and see us because she misses us I know and I bet she's watching um, Oscar and Jess need to come back out they can't stay indoors and just be sad all day we need to fix this grass this used to be grass here and it got destroyed this winter in the flooding walk to uphill church and on the hill and look at your direction oh yeah give us a wave Scott I've been up uphill once um, to the church there um, went up there for a walk with the kids two years ago for my nanny um, when my nanny passed and we couldn't get down there so we did our own little church service and remembrance up at the on the hill Chicky chickens right let's go this way and see if we can see all the lambs and obviously you love trailer don't you so we'll see trailers about I said I was going to do a quick video today and then I've ended up at oh what who's this oh we've got loads over here let's see what's going on this is our little uh, train shed when there used to be the land train that went through. This would be like its little station at the top. And we use it now for like our events. So when we have event days, this is the bar. This is like the performance area. And that's kind of like the changing area and kind of backstage. We had Sid from CBeebies here. Um, love Sid. Oh, he was gorgeous, he was as well. Um, really helpful. I remember a bit of the stage, um, like the curtain type thing was falling down and um it was straight out fixing everything because it was really tall and like muscly it was like oh i'll fix that like we had this massive list of demands that obviously came from his agent not him um and he just cracked on and he was so helpful and um it was amazing on his set i remember Braden got up on stage with him did some dancing right who have we got so we're using up all the grass areas at the minute to, yeah, Rory Storage, to make sure, one, to save some monies, uh, make sure all our grass is cut. So these are still our expectant mums. We haven't had any lambs for a bit. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Um, so these are all our mums to be. So hopefully we'll have some gorgeous little fluffies out of these guys soon. Who have we got? Hello. This isn't trailer, is it? Unless you've all been putting together now. Oh, I can't count. Are they all been put in together now? Yeah, it's trailer. Why am I trying? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I being silly? Right, so all the expectant mums. Yeah, of course you're trailer. Your horn looked bigger for some reason. It looked like you've grown it. Oh, my allergies just come up, so it's just got in my eye. Trailer, so all the expectant mums have been put in together now. Look, little duck. Uh... Don't beat me out. Oh, a bit of allergy stuff just got in. Um, so these are all the expectant mums with some rams in with them as well. So these are the last guys on the countdown. Ramadan's just chilling over there. These guys will get moved again in a minute. Um, it's just temporarily moving them across to eat the grass up. But yeah, hopefully we'll have a little baby from over here soon. And obviously everyone wants to see you in a second. Scully. Whoa! All right, bye Scully. They love me, don't they? So, um, I'm going to cut back this way. That is a lamb on the loose. Can you see? It's escaped. Pop back that way. See the lamb on the loose. And yeah, we could have a llama birth today, which would be amazing. Uh, anyone tell me what a baby llama is called? Extra points. And then, yeah, if you can get us up to those 500 TikTok followers, I will be in... A video which I'm now dreading because you just said that um, I've got loads of extra followers. I won't let you pick which TikTok. So this, ah, oh, there we go. Look, some lambs on the loose. This is all the lambs. What have they got football in there for? See, oh look, can you see it's out and it can't get back in? Send that. Look, how have you got out then, you donut? That's Bo, isn't it? Bo and Peep. Bo, I'll help you. How am I gonna? No one's up here, are they? Ah, yes, well done, Bear. It's a Korea. Well done, Scott. Right, Bo is out. Mum, Layla is there. 
There's what Layla is it. That's human face. Ah. How am I going to get Bo back in? Well, it's not going to keep still, is it? I might need some help here. Bo! <laughs> Bo's gone. Try and get Bo in. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. Right, look, 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 look. I want to help you. Right, let me try and sneak up. I'm not really physically built for sneaking up. Ah, oh, I got the wrong way. Okay. This just be fun. We'll do this for two hours. How have you even gone out? I might need some help, you know. <laughs> I think it's the gear. No, the fence up there. Ah, if I can grab her and lift her over. I've got someone to help me. Ah. Go on, see if you can grab her. Just chuck her, whoa, chuck her over the top. Go on, go on. Oh, this would be hilarious. You're just not, you're not live with 300 watches, it's fine. <laughs> oh, look, Bo's gone. Bo's not having it. Oh, good job come up here. Look, you see Bo just literally gone. We're trying to help you, look. Little runaway, run, 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 run away. I don't think we have, did we? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Should I go the other way? I'll try and go the other way. <laughs> they don't help themselves, do they, the animals? Oh, look, the llamas are kicking off now. Oh, it's coming back now, look, look, look. Scare the llamas, look. Reminds me of the German Shepherd when he first came over. He was about that big. And the llamas were right in the light out of him. I would help, but this is funnier. Look, you can't decide which one to go for. Run away from the llamas or run away from Corey. Go on, Corey, you got him. Hey! Look at that. You look chuffed with yourself. <laughs> he was running, wasn't he? Oh, look, it's all wobbly because I zoomed in. I need, I've got a little phone holder thing. I'll try and zoom in. Chuck her in. Hey! Stay fast. Mummy! There you are, Mummy. Mummy didn't even care. Mummy's like, oh, thank goodness for that. I had five minutes of peace and quiet and you give it back to me. Thank you. I'm going to climb in, I think, if I can get over. I'll finish up up here. We'll have to go see those um, longhorn, Manx longhorns later on. Try and climb in carefully. Oh, have we told... Um, Teddy's mum, the news. I don't think we have. Where's Teddy's mum? I don't think she care, would she really? I think she probably thinks he's already gone. Teddy, is that her? Oh, that might be her there. Teddy and Connie still up, um, Teddy's mum and Connie still up here. That was bars, wasn't it? That was funny. We've got so much content for TikTok. Come on team, get more on. Who else? Where are all the other lambs then? In the shelter? Where's number one? You number one. There you are. Wow, missus. Teddy's gone. Didn't do a great job there, did you? Well, to be fair on her, I think she had an impossible mission. Oh, hello. Thank you. They don't care, do they? Just do it right next to me. So I'm guessing, peekaboo, we're going to find a huddle. Oh, look at all the <laughs> absolute huddle of babies. Look at them all. Isn't that adorable? Hey. That, I think, is Teddy's brother. You're going to hurt me? You're going to be a trailer, are you? Oh, 
Ah. Look at them. Keely, Zach and Cody. Teddy's brother. Connie, are you tickling me? Why is everyone eating my knees? What is what is on my knees? Do I have like strangely sweaty knees? Get behind me. Oh, 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 I'm getting them. You like my Primani trainers? Ow, ow! Oh, excuse me. Bit my toe. Excuse me. Look at all these guys just chilling in here. Look how big some of them are. I wish I knew who was who. That looks like Bo coming back in. Because Bo's Diddy. Why are you chewing my feet? I'm trying to get a good angle that isn't me. It's just the... Excuse me. Can I help? Size of Ted's brother though, look, seriously. Look how big he is. Ow! Why are we biting me? Oh, you're going to be the new trailer now, are you? What is on my knees? Ow! Oh, why are we biting? I don't understand. Oh, what's that? Oh, that looks like a horse fry. Oh. I don't understand why everyone's biting my knees today. Have I got, like, extra fat, meaty knees? Stop it! Stop it! I don't understand. No! Why do all the animals want to eat me? I don't understand. Don't bite me. Salty knees. Salty knees. Ow! Whoa! Why have you just bit me like that? I don't understand. Nasty. Just bit me like four times. Got another little one over here. Hello. Oh, Bo and Peep coming around the corner. I wish I could tell you which one was Hero. Yeah. Ted's brother the next trailer but instead of headbutting me he's gonna bite my knees all the time my little fat knees have i got salty I probably have got salty knees i jumped straight out of bed put my shorts on organize the kits i've got no moisturizer on so i've got no like outside smells <laughs> what um yes yeah, so i just got bit by ted's brother on the toe and then on the knee a couple of times zach and cody look how big they are mummy keely one of our lambs from a couple of years ago who's grown up to have our own babies. Um, I'm going to pop through. Honestly, I just get eaten by all these animals, don't I? I've lost my drink now. Right, I'm going to pop back, find my drink, cut through. We'll see Monster, we'll see the other llamas. And then uh, I think I'll wrap up today because this end up being very, very long. And um, probably a load of rubbish what I talk about. I wish I remember which one. Who is... Is that Hero then? Six? No, Hero seven, isn't it? Eight's Bo and Peep. I'm pretty sure seven is Hero. So where's seven? I can... Well, Mummy is seven. And then I can tell you who Hero is. Yes, I should know all their names. I always forget. Right, I'm just going to go over here and I'll see... Um, See Monster and the Llamas this way and then I'll finish up. It's probably about half three now. My dad said to me, well, how are you not getting anything done? He's like, what do you actually do in between the videos? I was like, excuse me, I've got three, like, terror children. Is that Hero? That could be Hero, you know. He looks big enough. Um, three terror children. No, you look like you're going over there. Um, still doing all the, like, paperwork. Um, admin stuff, replying to all the lovely people that messaged me where I try to, but I'm a bit rubbish at that as well. I like to eat quite a lot, so I have to eat for quite a few hours a day. Um, so yeah, I don't get anything else. It's 1.47, never. I've been doing this for an hour and a half, that's crazy. Sorry. Right, I want to just find Hero, because people keep asking about Hero. Mm, I think that's Hero over there. Where's seven? I can match up. It's not my fault. They just grow, don't they? They just grow crazy amounts, lambs do. Literally a couple of days. And you come back up and see them. You're like, you're too big. There's no way. I think especially when we're comparing sizes to Ted. I think that's Hero. That's Teddy's brother. Chewy McNee. 
his new name. Um, right, I am going to go now because I've been on for an hour and... Have I been on for an hour and 47 minutes? Or is it 1.47? Oh, I just... Oh, I just trod in that squelcher. Look at that. Don't know. But this is better than going home and actually doing work. This should be my full-time job. <laughs> just quit all paperwork. Someone else can do the accounts. Someone else can do everything. I'm just going to be a... David Attenborough from now on. Right, let's zoom in on these guys and cut off. Right, I'll see you guys back at four o'clock. Hopefully I have my young farmers with me. Um, and they will do, oh, I shouldn't listen. These are meant to be, the whole plan was like 30 minutes videos twice a day. And then I just stay on here and talk all day with you. Um, I will see you guys at four o'clock. I'm hoping to have my young farmers with me. And I'm hoping we get a baby llama. Um, so don't forget to, yeah, get, get onto TikTok. It's really easy to set up an account because I just set one up on um, the iPad to be like a second account to look at things and um, bully me into doing a dance video, which will be hilarious and will go down in history and I'll never be able to delete it. But it'll be funny to look at when I'm old if TikTok still exists.